First thing we're going to do to factorise these expressions is to draw out our grid. And we're going to put in the x squared term, that goes in the top left, and we're going to put in our constant term, 8, at the bottom right. Now what we're going to do, as it says at the top here, is we're looking for two numbers that multiply together to get the constant term. So in this case, that's 8. And those two numbers also need to add to get the coefficient of x, and that's case is 6. So we're looking for two numbers that times to get 8, but add to get 6. Well, let's think about pairs of numbers that times to get 8. So you can have 8 and 1. You can have 4 and 2. You can have um, negative 8 and negative 1. And you can have negative 4 and negative 2. Now, only one pair of those are going to add to get 6. So 8 add 1 is 9, so it's not that one. 4 add 2 is 6, so it is that one. Okay. Now, with that 4 and the 2, we place those in my grid with an x. So 4x and 2x. Now, what we do, the last stage, is to factorise the rows and columns in this grid. So, for the first column, I've got x squared and 2x. So, the common factor between those two is x. So, we put that as a column heading. For the next column, I've got 4x and 8. The common factor is 4, or plus 4. Let's put that there. Then for the first row, we've got x squared and 4x, so the common factor is x. And for the last row, we've got 2x and 8, and the common factor is 2. So that finally gives me my um, factorised term, which is x plus 4, the column headings, and x plus 2. And you can always check these by expanding out the brackets to see if you get what you originally got. All right, let's look at the second example. So the first thing I'm going to do is draw my grid out and put in the x squared term in the top left one and the constant term of 10 in the bottom right hand one. Now I'm looking for, remember, two numbers that multiply to get the constant, that's 10, the one that doesn't have the x with it, and those two numbers must also add to get the coefficient of x, and that's 11. Okay, so let's think about numbers that uh, multiply to get 10. So I can have 10 and 1, I can have 5 and 2, uh, remember the negative ones, I can have negative 10 and negative 1, and I can have negative 5 and negative 2. Only one of these will add to get 11, so 10 add 1 is 11, so I've got the right one straight away. Now, taking those 10 and 11, I now put them into my grid, and I would have a plus 10x and a plus x in there. Now I look to factorise my rows and columns. So x squared and x, the common factor is x. 10x and 10, it is plus 10. x squared and 10x would be x. x and 10, well that is a 1x and 10, so the common factor for that is just 1. So that means when I factorise it, I'm going to get x plus 10, x plus 1. And again, you could always expand that using a grid to see if you get back to your original expression. 